Hi, in this lecture we will talk about types of arguments in detail. So let's create here a new Python file and I'll name it function underscore args dot py hit enter and let's create here our simple bio function so just type here def and bio so it's not biology it's a biography okay so bio and then this bio function will accept three arguments so we need to define here three parameters first of all we will have name then we will have class then edge okay so as you can see here that class is a reserved keyword so just type here underscore class okay and put colon and uh, let's return a very simple string so just type here return and then it will be a formatted string and then these double quotes and let's type our string So this is a simple string that this function will return. Uh, let's type here str underscore is equals to bio. So I'll accept this string right here in this str underscore variable. So first of all, we need to pass the name of the person and then the class and then the edge. So just type here Mike. This will be the name then the class will be ninth and the edge will be something like 17 okay and now let's print this string str underscore let's save it it's very simple there is no logic in these three lines so we got our output my name is mike so just give us space okay let's save it and then i read in class ninth and my edge is 70 awesome everything is fine so this is called positional arguments we are passing each argument according to the position of parameters defined in the function definition but what if i write here ninth and instead of ninth if i type here mike what are you expecting obviously we will get a very weird output my name is ninth and I did in class Mike. So what is this? What nonsense is this? So in order to solve this kind of problem, uh, you need to use keyword argument. So you need to define the parameter variable before the argument. So the ninth is obviously a class and the variable for class parameter is this underscore class. So just type here underscore class is equal. Oops class is equals to this and then mike is obviously a name so just type here its parameter which is name let's save it and now here as you can see we are getting an error so if i run it we got an error positional arguments follows keyword argument and the reason is that let me tell you a tip here just keep in mind write it on your notebook it's very very important and uh, it is commonly asked in quizzes that you can put keyword argument after positional argument but you can't put keyword arguments before positional argument so currently this 17 is a positional argument and mike and class is a keyword argument so you can't put a keyword argument before a positional argument argument and that's why we are getting here this error so in order to solve this error there are two solutions one is to use positional arguments again and the second method is to use keyword argument for this positional argument as well so uh, just type here edge is equals to and this will solve our problem let's run it and we got our string again and here as you can see that we are not following the order but since we are using the keywords we are still getting a correct string in the terminal and now for example uh, just remove this and here if i say mike now it's a positional argument and if i flip the class and edge so just type here edge is equals to maybe 15 and then the 
underscore class is equals to and that will be ninth okay let's save it and now as you can see we are not getting any kind of error still we are combining positional arguments with keyword arguments but since our keyword argument is after positional argument that's why we are not getting any kind of error so let's run it and we got our string again so this is how this positional argument and keyword arguments work and now let's discuss default argument so whenever you define your argument right in front of your parameter it is called as default argument so for example just define here a default argument for this class so is equals to and then the class will be maybe 10th okay 10th let's save it and now just remove it okay just remove it and now again here we got an error and that is uh, as you hover on this edge it is saying that non-default argument follows default argument so this is a default argument and this edge is a non-default argument and that's why we are getting here the same errors so uh, let's remove this edge from here and let's put it before this class and now everything is fine uh, let's save it and here as you can see i am not defining any kind of class in this color and still our function will work so let's run it and we got our string now here as you can see that python has replaced this underscore class parameter with the default value which is 10th right here as you can see here we got 10th uh, but what if i remove this default argument let's save it back and now what are you expecting will we get an error or will the python execute the code so just run it and obviously we got an error because this bio function takes three arguments but we have given only two arguments so this is another application of default arguments so just undo it okay let's save it and i hope that uh, you have understood the uh, keyword argument positional argument and default argument and there are two very important things you need to keep in mind first of all you can't put a positional argument after keyword argument okay and then you can't put a default argument before a non-default argument so these are two very important things and they are commonly asked in quizzes so just keep these two points in mind and i'll see you in the next lecture bye bye